Hi, Craft and Decker friends! Welcome back! I'm Shell, and today's video is gonna be super neat! We're gonna show you how to make some awesome cardboard machines! We're gonna use all of the materials that appear on your screen, including some of our favorite candies, so stick with me because this video is gonna be super cool! Let's take a look at everything we're gonna need. First, a few pieces of cardboard, a plastic cup, a small bottle, your favorite candies, wooden sticks in different shapes and sizes, a few images like these ones, M&Ms, rubber bands, another plastic bottle with this bumpy texture in the bottom part, and some acetate sheets. Let's get started! We're gonna make a cool candy dispenser! Grab the plastic cup and place your bottle on the top of it. We're gonna trace the contour of the bottle's neck, like this. Next, we need to cut out the shape we just traced using a cutter. Remember that you need to ask a grown-up for help whenever you use sharp tools. Once it looks like this, we're gonna trace a few small lines on the cup. This one 4 cm away from the bottom part of the cup. And two more 2 cm away from the previous ones. Look! We've also traced a semicircle in the bottom part of the cup. Let's use our cutter to cut it out. Just like this, friends. Now, we need to grab another plastic cup and cut it in half. Then, from the bottom part, we're gonna cut out a long strip with a small square. And we're gonna use this thumb tag to make our dispenser's mechanism. We need to place the long strip inside the cup and the small square needs to be on the outside. Remember that bottle with the bumpy texture at the bottom? We're gonna grab a permanent marker and we're gonna draw an arc at the bottom part of the bottle. Then cut it out. This is gonna look super cool! It's time to assemble our dispenser, guys! All you gotta do is attach the piece of plastic bottle we cut out on the inside part of the cup. That way, when we slide the door, the candies will come out! Next, we're gonna fill our plastic bottle with the M&Ms. Just pour them inside the bottle until it's completely filled. How tasty, guys! Now, we're gonna place the candy container on top of the dispenser. Now, you just need to set it on a flat surface so you can enjoy all your delicious M&Ms! Wow, guys, this is unbelievable! Here we have our super cool M&M dispenser! Look, you just need to slide the lid and all the delicious chocolate will come out! Mmm, yummy! Let's move on to our second idea of the day. We're gonna make a super cool ATM machine! Let's start by tracing two rectangles on a piece of cardboard. They have to be 15 by 30 centimeters. Then cut them out with your scissors. And with your scissors, we're gonna round up this corner like this. This is what both of our pieces should look like, guys! And look, friends, we've drawn two rectangles which are 8.5 by 12 centimeters each. And on the inside, we've traced all these lines that are gonna make our ATM look super realistic. Let's cut them out. Next thing we're gonna do is cut out with our cutter and make some slight cuts following the lines we drew. We don't want to cut all the way, so don't go too deep. And for this second rectangle, we're gonna cut out the shapes we traced with our cutter. Remember you need adult supervision for these guys. Now, we're gonna need another piece of cardboard. We gotta trace and cut out a rectangle which has to be 8.3 by 14.5 centimeters. It's time to assemble the ATM, friends! We're gonna use our glue gun and we're gonna put all the pieces together making the shape of a box. Here we have another piece of cardboard in which we've drawn two more rectangles of 11 by 8.5 centimeters and 5 by 9 centimeters. And we're gonna cut out a small slot on the top part of our piece of cardboard, like this. Now grab the smaller rectangle and peel off this first layer of the cardboard, like this. So, what we're gonna do is grab a small wooden stick like this one and wrap it with our thin cardboard, like this. 
This is gonna be the cool mechanism for the ATM! First, we need to tie a rubber band all around the cardboard. And then, we're gonna place it at the other end of the slot where we cut. First, make sure it fits and then attach two pieces of paper to the tips like this. Now we can fix it in place with our glue gun. This ATM is gonna be so neat because we're even gonna make a custom credit card. Wait till you see it. Then we need to attach this whole piece right in between these two slots we've cut out previously. We've made a slight cut on this piece so the cardboard can fold easily. So, what we're gonna do is fold it this way and attach it right here. This is gonna be the slot to insert the card. The mechanism is ready, guys. We can now close the ATM. So let's attach this piece to the back. And then this other piece to the side of the ATM. So let's fix it in place using some hot glue. Here we have a cardboard circle and a wooden stick. We need to poke a small hole like this and attach it to the side of the ATM. Then grab a stick about this size. Poke a hole on the circle to measure where you'll paste it and then stick a small piece of it with some clear glue. We have to cut the squared back part of the ATM and give it a round shape with a cutter. Now that we have the correct shape, we can start painting. We're giving it a nice baby blue color. You can paint it any color you want, guys. For the inside part, we're using blush pink acrylic paint for the top and a bright yellow for the bottom. Since this is our very own ATM, let's put our brand, Craft and Decor, on the screen. Then attach it with some hot glue. We need to have a credit card in order to withdraw our money, so let's create one. Print a credit card with the design you want, then paste it with some glue stick in a piece of stiff cardboard to make it super resistant. To protect our card, let's plastify it using a sticky acetate sheet and pasting it at the front part. Then give it some color at the back. You need to digit your credit card number on the ATM to withdraw money. You can print the keyboard and paste it like you did with the screen. Here we have the ATM with all the colors and tiny little details. Look at the keyboard and the screen! You place your card in the space below. And when you wind up this little piece, cash starts coming out of it! Time for another cool cardboard machine, friends! I'll tell you the cardboard's measurements we'll need. We'll need a 19 by 8 cm cardboard piece. Then measure with your ruler and draw a little mark every 2 and every 4 cm. Repeat on the other side. Now that you trace the lines, it's time to cut them out. You can measure inches or centimeters with a ruler. Which one do you use the most at school? Then, grab another piece of cardboard and trace a square. It has to be 19 by 19 centimeters long. Once you trace it, cut it out with your scissors. Remember, be careful! Now that we have the pieces ready, let's join them together. Put the long pieces in the middle of the rectangle. Two of them must be placed like this. Then, a small piece has to be placed here. It has to look like a long box. Now that you know how it should look like, we can start joining the pieces together using hot glue. The top part of the long box must be placed like this. Remember to ask an adult to help you using the glue gun. Now let's make the next pieces. Grab a ruler and make three rectangles. They have to be 19 by 13 centimeters long. First, measure them. Then, you can cut them out. Remember you need to end up with three pieces, guys. These will work as the base for the basketball game we're creating. Attach them to the structure we're building just like this. Let's keep creating the base of the basketball card with these three other pieces of cardboard. Two of them are 3 by 7 cm long and the other is 3 by 4 cm long. The last one goes right in the middle. Now that's ready, fix it in place with hot glue. Next, grab a super thin wooden stick like this one. Measure with your ruler and mark 1 cm and then 4.7 cm. 
In that same piece we cut, we attached some more pieces of the same kind of wooden stick to make it more resistant. We'll paste that piece in the center of the square with hot glue, just like you are seeing here. Now, look at the three pieces we have here, guys. We attach together three pieces of cardboard like this. We'll paste one on the right and one on the left side of the cardboard wall. This is our 19 by 19 piece of cardboard. We cut out a square in the top part and opened it up in the bottom like this. We'll attach this structure in the middle with hot glue. We used a complete thin wooden stick and attach four other ones in a horizontal position to make it thicker. We added two other small pieces on each side. We'll need two more pieces made with wooden sticks just like these ones. And we'll need two tiny pieces of cardboard to put on each side of the bottom square we opened up. They'll go under the structure we made previously. Place them like this. Now we'll need two small rubber bands like these ones. They'll be grasping together the two wooden stick structures we just fixed with hot glue. Isn't this cool, guys? This is exactly how it should look like. This part will be the top part of our structure. Make sure to place the tip of the wooden stick like this when you fix it in place. Done, guys! Now, cut out some triangle pieces like these ones. Attach them to the left and right corner of the structure. Then we'll need a tiny square. This one has to be placed right on the tip of the wooden stick that is showing. To cover up our amazing mechanism, let's complete the box with a front wall. We cut out a round shape like this one in the middle. Before covering it, we also need these two pieces to go at the front part. We are done with the technical part of this craft, guys! It's time to make it look like an actual basketball game. We'll use these materials for the basketball court. Cut out two cardboard arcs like these ones. We'll attach the acetate sheets to them later. Attach them with hot glue. We need this water bottle to make the basketball rim. Cut out the cap. Ask a grown-up to help you with this step. Then, we'll need a plastic net, like the ones that come with the fruit at the grocery store. Cover the cup with it and cut out the excess. Look, guys, don't you think it looks exactly like a basketball hoop? Such a realistic detail. We made the shape of the backboard and the pole with stiff cardboard. We added some color with red and blue markers in the borders. The rim and the net will go exactly in the middle part, where the red rectangle is. Now, fix it in place right here. Look, guys, our basketball court is beginning to look exactly like a real one. Remember the arcs we cut out? We attached the acetate to them, and now we have to paste them on each side of the basketball court. Now, to make it look even more amazing, let's give it some color. As a final detail, to make it look even more like a game machine, cover the whole game with another big acetate sheet. How shiny! Add some tiny balls to play basketball with. See how it works, friends? Just pull the wooden stick and the colorful balls will start bouncing. How many points can you score? How about that, guys? Is this machine fun or what? I love the bright and the apple red. You can use round tiny bubble gum as balls to play with. And here we have all our new amazing machines, guys! The colorful ATM, our cute little candy dispenser, and the super fun basketball game. All of these are so creative and they were so much fun to create! Don't forget to tell me in the comments which one of the amazing machines was your favorite! Remember to ring the bell if you'd like to see more of these awesome videos! And give us a like! Bye-bye! Let's <laughs> go.